Welcome to my short tutorial on the ATM strategy using Ninja Trader. All right, now if you are a new futures trader and you want to duplicate your trades and automate your take profits, this video is for you. All right, if it's your first time here, I'm Katina. Please hit that subscribe. If it's not your first time, welcome back and leave me a comment, okay? And stick around until the end. I got a bonus for you outside of the ATM strategy, okay? Let's get right to it. All right, so when you are new trading futures, all right, I'm using Ninja Trader. Some other people use Tradevate, and I'm gonna start a Tradevate account soon just so I can show you both ways. But um, as you can see here, now I'm using my live account, not my prop firm. But what you wanna do is you wanna go right here where it says ATM strategy. All right, so I'm gonna click this drop down arrow. And as you can see, I got all of these strategies in here. All of these are strategies because I've been practicing for a while. So click custom is what you want to do. All right. So now look at right here where it says custom strategy parameters. So you want to look at the order quantity. You want to look at parameter type. Now it goes currency, percent, price, ticks, pips. All right. So we're going to leave it on ticks. All right. We want to look at your quantity. We want to look at your stop loss and your profit and your stop strategy and we'll talk about that later but for right now if you i'm gonna tell you too i like to use three okay um i like to use three and if i make profits and in, in the green when i take my first trade then sometimes i will trade a second time but i'll reduce it and only trade two just in case the second trade goes wrong. I don't want to lose all my profits. So, all right. So this is what you do. You got three in here. If you wanted to change it, you just delete and go five, right? So now you got it on five and you see right here, whatever number you type in order quantity is going to put it right here on the target. So what you can say is, Ooh, a lot of fun features there. So what I want to say, what you can say is, I want my stop loss to be at, now I say, I put mine at 29 and I want to try and get 10. Nope, I want to try and get, I want to try and get 20 points, which would be 10 ticks. All right, but that's an easy way. Now, the reason my numbers are so, they look large is because I'd like to trade NASDAQ. And you know, if you know, like I know, it moves really fast. So I like to trade NASDAQ. So, but basically once you enter your numbers, you go save template, you name it ATM1 video. I'm going to name it so I remember what it is. And then you click save and then you click OK. So when you're ready to trade, it'll be right here, ATM1 video. So you would just simply, why can't I, oh my goodness, why can't, I don't see where my, uh, let me try, I'm trying to get a SIM account so I can just show you real quick. So right now, I don't really know what the market is doing, but I'm just going to take a chance and I am going to click sell market. So let's see what happens. So you see this? So I'm losing. I'm going to click reverse real quick. Ah, even though I don't like doing that, that's bad, but, and then I'm going to just close it. All right, but as you can see, I lost a lot of money. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how it works. Um, this is this is a SIM account, so this is not a real account. So now say you want to test it with just one. All right, so as you can see, I have, let's look at one of my, let's do one quick scalp. I got one already set up as one click quick scalp. And if I wanted to edit this or see what's in there, um, I'm going to click edit. So as you can see, order quantity one, 
parameter type ticks and I got my stop loss at eight and my take profit at four. All right, so I'm just gonna cancel because I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this one. So once again, I am going to click sell market. This is not very motivating. <laughs> but the market is kind of weird today. All right, so it looks like it already hit. It looks like it hit the stop loss, so that's why it stopped. Um, now, this is why I don't like SIM accounts either. This is why I prefer prop firms because when you're on the SIM account, it's not really moving with the market. So SIM accounts are just for you to test. That's probably why my um trades are going wrong right here because the sim accounts are just for you to get um familiar with the systems like familiar with how to work ninja trader and stuff like that so um let's let's look at one other thing so as you can see now let me show you this too so if you look over here on my list i got a bunch named nq but i also have some named es so let's just look at my two shorts on ES because ES moves a lot slower. So um, as you can see, I got um, just two. Like I would have two. My stop loss would be at eight. My take profit, I would take one at six and the other at 12. So now if you, if you learned anything so far, hit that like button. All right, hit that like button and just drop a money bag in the comment section because right now I'm about to show you the way to really make money um, trading as a new trader. Um, so what you want to do is you get a prop firm account, okay? Because as you can see, when you're trading, now let me just show you on my other screen, on my other computer, I would have my trading view set up right here so what i would do is i watch my charts and i watch the one minute the three minute the five minute and the 15 minute now some people only trade you know on the five minute you know because the fight you see right here is letting you know that hey the the market is really going down all right so and then you can have like if you wanted to just switch to es because you see these are all my different stocks here if you want to switch you just double click and you look at es or you can look at es on two of these and then over here look at nq uh-oh just do one click so one click watch es which is the s p 500 the other click you watch nasdaq which are all the tech stops your your apple your nvidia your Google, right? So these are your tech stops when you trade NASDAQ, your top 100 tech stops, tech stocks. And then the S&P 500, of course, are the top 500 stocks, period. So, but that's it. You know what, y'all? Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. And you know what? No, before I do go, let me show you about workspaces because this was the hardest part when I first started with Ninja Trader. This was the hardest part. Once you set up your workspace, everything is so easy. You just log in and you get to trading. But when I first started, I had difficulty with this. The workspaces, right? You got to come in here and you set up your workspace. Now, when you set up your workspace, you go new, and then you can see all of the different features right here. All right. I'm going to make a whole video about that. But basically, you can move this, right? You grab it and you move it, right? So you would go to, um, well, all of these here on the bottom are different tools for you to use, right? So like this is your super dom dynamic, which is right over here, which is showing you all the trades that are happening, right? And tools, you got your instruments, your hotkeys, um, just so many, there's so many features y'all, just so many. Then right here's your workspaces. So I got a, I had a bunch of workspaces, but when you, okay, I'll show you that in a second. Then here's your connections. 
So these are my um, prop firm connections right here. So I got a, a live, a sim, and these are two prop firms that I work with. I'll leave the descript I'll leave those links in the description box too because one of them always has like an 80 or 90 percent sale. This right here is where you can get help, resources, video guides, etc. And um right here is where you can chat. So, but when you're closing your workspace, when you're closing your workspace on Ninja Trader, this is what you never want to forget to do. You go to workspace when you're done for the day, right here, whatever is green, this is the one you have open. So when you're done for the day, you always click save and then you go back to workspace and then you close. Then it's going to ask you again, do you want to save and close? You click yes. And then you close that. Yes. That's how you close it so that you don't mess up your workspace, right? So mine is closed. I'm going to open it again. And you can see just how fast and easy it is, all right, to just start working every day back to workspace then it all it all pops right back open and then you just connect right you go to connection i'm going to go to live all right that is it so that is again and then again your atm strategies are right here so again, and then they'll all save too. They all save. So I am about to get ready to trade. So I'm going to go to NQ3 long. And let's look one more time. Now, this is my favorite. This is my favorite strategy right here. Um, I got three ticks. My stop loss is 29 and my profit is 15, 25, and 39. Now, what I do though, I will move. I'm going to show you a live trade because I do move my stop loss up once I start winning and making profit, but you can set a trail stop and we'll talk about that on the next video. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the next video about trail stops. All right. Thanks for watching y'all. Thanks for going through this with me. I'm Katina Willis. And again, if you want to get funded up to $50,000 or up to $600,000 and trade futures with those funds, I will put the link in the description box below. Also, check out this video right here. All right, thanks for watching. It's Katina Willis. See you next time.